A recent stretch of seismic activity recorded around the Commonwealth drew some extra interest from Kentucky seismologists. The Kentucky Geological Survey told LEX 18's Kayla Barnes why the tremors are important to note, but not necessarily alarming. While California is better known for earthquakes, the New Madrid seismic zone, which stretches into southwestern Kentucky, was quite active at the end of 2024. There was a period of time that stretched from earlier in November into um, mid-December or so when we saw three magnitude three or greater earthquakes. Kentucky sits adjacent to three seismic zones, with the New Madrid seismic zone being the most active producing about three magnitude three or greater earthquakes each year. Now these are the types of earthquakes that are felt near the epicenters. Earthquakes in the areas where these larger events have happened are not unusual. Um, it's a little more unusual to see earthquakes so uh, of such a stronger magnitude and clustered in time like we've seen here. After a series of major earthquakes in 1811 and 1812, New Madrid averages 200 measured events each year. There is some discourse about what these patterns mean. Some people believe that New Madrid is showing us just aftershock acti activity, a very prolonged period of aftershocks since the, that original strong sequence. Others believe that New Madrid is uh, continuing to accumulate energy, which could then produce large earthquakes sometime into the future. The earth isn't just shaking in western Kentucky. Some in northern Kentucky felt the southern Ohio quake on December 16th. We don't uh, get into the business of trying to predict earthquakes. Uh, what we do know is that they happened, and so we would like to help people prepare for such large events were they to happen again in the future. In Lexington, Caleb Barnes, LEX 18 News.